Hi, in honor of all the snow that we've got, I thought we'd read Geraldine's Big Snow. Please like, share, and subscribe. Geraldine brought her new sled down from the attic and put her boots near the door. I'm ready, she said. It will come faster if you don't watch so much, Mama told her. But Geraldine wanted to watch. Tell me again what Papa heard on the radio, she said. This is the last time, Geraldine, Mother scolded. He heard that there is a big storm coming and that there will be at least a foot of snow. How much is a foot, Geraldine asked. Mama held out her hand. Wow, said Geraldine, sucking in her cheeks. But when? Soon, Mama said. Very soon. Geraldine put on her hat and her jacket. I'm going to wait outside. Good, Mama said. Hello, Geraldine, said Mrs. Wilson, who was coming home from the market. You bought a lot of apples, Geraldine said. Mrs. Wilson nodded. It will be hard to go shopping when the snow comes. Geraldine walked along with her eyes on the sky until she bumped into Mr. Peters, who was coming home from the library. Afternoon, Geraldine, Mr. Peters grumbled as he picked up his books. I'm sorry, Geraldine said. I was watching for the snow. Mr. Peters cleared his throat. <clears throat> Better get plenty of good books to read. Geraldine stopped to watch Mr. Harper put seeds in his bird feeder. Birds get hungry in the snow, he said. Uncle Albert was attaching the snowplow to his truck. He waved to Geraldine, and Geraldine waved back. Geraldine started to sing. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. She sang all the way home and watched the sky. But by supper time, there was still no snow, and Geraldine was weary from watching. Maybe it isn't really coming, she said. Maybe the man on the radio is wrong. Maybe Mrs. Wilson and Mr. Peters and Mr. Harper and Uncle Albert are all wrong. Geraldine took a last look out the window. A star was hiding behind a cloud, and she watched it until she fell asleep. Then, in the night, it came, softly and quietly. Millions of snowflakes piled up on houses and trees. They made soft mounds on the streets and in the park, and beautiful crystals on the windows. Geraldine heard Uncle Albert's snowplow before she opened her eyes. It's here, she shouted. It's here. Mrs. Wilson got right to work making apple pies. Mr. Peters sat in front of the fireplace reading. Mr. Harper counted 11 finches and three cardinals at his bird feeder. And Geraldine took her sled to the top of the highest hill in the park and coasted all the way down. Well, I hope you like Geraldine's big snow. As Tigger said, ta-ta for now. Love you guys. Bye-bye.